is a Wabi Thunder. Color is Desert Turquoise, and it is a 55 centimeter frame. For gears, I went with a 44 tooth in the front and a White Industries Dos Anos Freewheel 17, 19 in the back. They set it up as 19 on the 19 tooth. I'm probably gonna change it to the 17 tooth. I think it's gonna be a little bit better for riding on the road, which I'm mostly gonna be riding on the road. I was gonna go with a 42. However, I thought the 44 would give me a little bit more oomph when I'm riding on the flats, and I could always go down to a 42, and I have a couple of extra 46s from my other Wabi that I have. Handlebars, I went with the regular compact drop handlebars. I'm gonna change these. I just wanted to get the hooded levers because that's what I like the best. I find them more comfortable, especially on a single speed when you're wrenching it back and forth, going up a hill, accelerating. You're, it's just a lot easier to go like this than being with a flat bar. I don't remember the last time I rode flat bars. These bars are probably okay. However, I did get a pair of FSA handlebars with FSA stem. These I run on my other Wabi and I've run them on a couple of other bikes I've had as well. I just really like the 31.8 millimeter bar. And for some reason, the FSA Omega handlebars and the FSA stem, I like them. These are like the fourth pair I've had. Brakes, these are called cantilevers. I am not sure if I am going to keep these brakes on or if I'm gonna change them to mini V brakes. Cantilevers do leave a lot of extra clearance. However, I'm probably not gonna run anything wider than a 38 millimeter tire anyway. And on the road, I don't like to go wider than 32. 28's really what I like. I'm gonna leave these on just to see how they feel. Bike came with them. There's no reason to change them just to change them. One thing that I am gonna do is I'm going to change the standard black brake pads out to red salmon cool stop pads. If you're running rim brakes, you really should be using cool salmon cool stop reds. I find that they grab the best and they work uh, in the rain as well. As well as they can, but there's not as much of a delay. The rims are just the Wabi standard CX wheel set that comes in the Thunder. I thought that they were fine. Standard inner tubes, Kenda small block, eight tires, whatever, it, I didn't really care. I've got plenty of tires that I'm going to probably change out. One other thing I'm gonna be doing is putting in some lightweight inner tubes, Tubalitos to be exact, the orange ones, and putting some 32 millimeter Continental Grand Prix Four Seasons on here that I've had sitting in my closet. And then if I do wanna get into more off-road, I'll just get a pair of like Panarasa Gravel Kings and 38 millimeters. 43, I don't think is really necessary. I think 35, 38 is the sweet spot because you still get that agility. Whereas you start going wider than that, you're going to a mountain bike tire. Saddle, I did decide to go with the Brooks saddle. In my experience, this is the most comfortable saddle if you're riding in jeans. And I want this bike to be just like my other Wabi where I could just hop on in plain clothes with what I'm wearing, just a pair of van sneakers, flannel shirt, jeans, especially in bad weather, throw a winter jacket over and not have to worry about the saddle shredding my jeans or the saddle just not being comfortable giving me some numb spots. That's one thing, Brooks saddles are heavier, they're a little bit more maintenance, but I do think they're totally worth it unless you wanna build the lightest weight bike possible or you're always gonna be riding in cycling kit. I highly recommend Brooks saddles. Also standard crank set, uh, I did get a pair of Fly Mesa pedals, flat pedals. I've been running these in my other Wabi and I have really good experiences with them. These are not too expensive and again, it keeps with the theme of just being a bike that you just hop on and go. You don't have to worry about changing shoes, changing pants, just hop on and go. So something else I'm gonna be doing is just putting water bottle cages on there and I have to get another pump. That way I can just leave the pump sitting there all the time. I don't have to ever worry about leaving the house or going for a ride without it. That's it, that is my 2022 Desert Turquoise Wabi Thunder. Waited for this bike to be in stock for quite a while. Pretty happy I got it. Is it a little redundant? Probably because my other Wabi can fit 32 millimeter tires, but I do want to try this one just because I like the steel. I like the way that it's just a commuter bike. And I also like the reliability and these, yeah, these cantilever brakes are a little bit more complicated than regular rim brakes, but still a lot simpler than hydraulic disc brakes, less rubbing, less maintenance. They, you do have to be careful, but that's the great thing that I like about rim brakes. It's just less maintenance. No derailers, no shifting, no batteries. There's, there's no shifting. The bike is just as simple as it can get. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the first ride. It's been freezing here in New York, but this is a winter bike, a rain bike. This is a do it all bike, an all season bike. So I'm gonna be bundled up at some point. I'll take you guys along for the first ride. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye.